Hey YouTube, EMP's Boy Night 60 doing another deck box zone. Awesome time. September list. It's pretty much well in fact by now, so I think everyone knows it. Everyone hates certain cards, loves certain cards, and goes, why the fuck? Had a <laughs> Uh, anyway, this is the deck box zone over my Aquarius deck, which, if anyone remembers from way back when, was the Frog Monarch deck. Eh, since FTK kind of got eliminated, these things are going to come back. Everyone's going to switch their FTK deck back over to a Frog Arc deck, because Frog Arc still are pretty damn good yet. Especially with some of these, of these tech game choices that I'm about to show you. You may want to memorize some of these cards because this will screw with your opponent completely. Alright, come over here to my higher level monsters. Alright, I got White Knight in here. You know what? Can't be target of... Uh, what was it? Can't be... Negate the activation of any spell or trap card that targets this card and destroy that card. Exactly. Can't be compulsioned. So basically anything that targets spell trap wise, negated. Any other monster you control is going to get attacked. Toss one card out of your spell and trap zone, redirect it to White Knight. Oops, you ran into it. Three grand attack, 2500 defense, dual sack. You know what? I can do that. Medium of the Ice Barrier, 2216 dual sack. Okay, you're going, why? Here's why. Your opponent may only activate one spell or trap card per turn. Yeah. This thing's nasty. I love her. She's freaking awesome. Oh, and by the way, if your opponent controls four more cards than you do, you can special summon her. So just get her out there right away. Oops. Can't activate anything. Darn. She got one spell or trap card per turn. I hope you have compulsion. Oh, wait. That just make me bring it back. Double Ryza because I have two Ryza. That's all I got. Oh, well. Summon, bounce, to the top of the deck. Screws up your opponent for a turn. One chaos, because I have one chaos. Summon, remove, oops, attack. We're good. Sangan searches out pretty much well anything, everything from here on. Actually, it does search out everything from here on. Guildman, I just like him. Tech choice, extra attack for the froggies and everything else. Triple Swap Frog, just because it's Swap Frog. Toss, Special Summon, Mill One to the Graveyard. Normally, if it's a frog, then you mill Ronin Tonin. Then you remove Special Summon. Oh, look, that's two. That's Medium or White Knight. Or Rises Out, and I got a Defense Position Monster just in case someone wants to screw with my Monarch. Come down here. Oh, Happy Bouncer. Yes, yeah, start running your flip-flops again. This thing's going to screw up your opponent completely. Bounces one monster per each frog. So if it's just him, you got flip face up, that's one. Him plus dupe, that's two. Him plus dupe plus Ronin Totem, which is treated as death frog, that's three. Yeah, I think people are forgetting about Ronin Totem's effect that he's being treated as death frog. So technically, yes, he's a frog when he's out in the field. That means flip flop works with them quite nicely. Get Duke Frog out here, of course. Your searcher, search from your deck or your graveyard. Yeah, I just recently found that out, so I'm feeling quite stupid for not reading the little box down there of fun. Yeah, well, well. I always use them for frog lock and then s start thinning out the deck, but I've been using them out of the grave, getting them out of the graveyard, and that really recycles those. Coming down here, double road and toning, because that's all you need. You only need two. Why do you need two? Those two. Well, only reason. Uh, uni, just because once in a while I do direct attack and get one. And here's my tech in Joyce, instead of Treeborn Frog, which I don't have in the first place. Jester Confit. I actually like him a teeny bit better than Treeborn, because A, I don't got to mill him to the graveyard and wait a turn. I can also use trap cards with this thing out of the field. And B, if this thing's in my hand, plus the Monarch, the Monarch's out in the field, because I special summon this thing. He can be tributed. I read the whole thing through. He can be tributed. There's that. Uh-oh. You're in trouble. Okay, I come down to the spells real quick. Dark Hole, because it's freaking Dark Hole. It's back. I can nuke the field and come back pretty easily. So, yeah. 
Just face it. You nuke the field, you lose your dupe frog. Oh, look, I get my flip-flop back, which was also nuked. Remove. Hey, look, Ronan Tone is back. I got a defense. Oh, wait, I got a monarch in my hand. Never mind, you're screwed. Okay. One, oh, by the way, there's no Mox Reborn in this deck. Oh, well. Here's, here's the math on this one. I have six main decks, and I only got three Mox Reborns. Pretty simple math. I'm out. Reloading. Okay. Fizzier, just because. Water Hazard, that's my Mox Reborn. Special Summon Water-type monsters from your hand. That's a pretty good share of the deck. Okay. Soul Exchange, screwing with your opponents. Only need one. Dark Door. This was my original anti black wing deck. This stops swarms. Sure, you may screw yourself over a little bit, but half the time I don't need one attack per turn. Dupe Lock on the field, flip flop, face down, set, bounce, punch, 500. <laughs> Oops. Or if a legendary ocean's on the field, the Dupe Lock, flip flop, set, bah, flip. Bounce! 700! Ah, I did more damage. And come over here to Steel Cage of Nightmares. Once again, stalling. And also, once again, I'm out of swords, so shut up. Plus, I got a nice loop combo with Jester Confit, and he does pretty good. Okay. Card Trader. I get some dead hands. This helps. Uh, Mass Driver. Mass Driver wins games, people. Let's face it. If you prolong the duel long enough, you got your FTK set up. Because these are going to be in the graveyard. These are going to be in the graveyard. You should have at least hit your opponent a couple of times. And those should be in the graveyard. Yeah, do, 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 do. Fire, 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 fire. Oop, you died. <laughs> Salvage. Um, I like having them in my hand. So, get those back. It helps. I never like removing a dupe frog. You keep those things in the graveyard. You can get them back with salvage. You can get them back with a couple of the trap cards down here. Keep him in the graveyard as long as you possibly can until it's utterly necessary. Like if you're going to kill him with Mass Driver. Alright, come down here to the traps before I start getting winded, which is probably already too late. Once again, tech in choice for mere force. Half or nothing. Dupe Frog on the field in defense mode. 2,000 defense. Only monster your opponent can attack. Half or nothing. That pretty much will screws over your opponent unless they got something that's over 4,000. Because that's the only way to get over that dupe frog. Uh, the bind. Just because this is also adding to my stall engine. Even more stall. Thunder Ruler. If I know it's going to be a bad turn. Hike Knight Trite. You can't declare any. Actually, you skip your battle phase. And Wabaku. Once again, stalling. More stall. Oops, uh, nothing. Age of the Oceanic Dragon, good lord. This protects your level 3 and lower water type monsters. This is good to have in an FTK deck. Because if you got your frog stall out there, your opponent's going to go after those frogs. Fizzier screws with this guy. Smashing Ground screws with this guy because he fits both. He's high defense, low attack. He gets hit by both. Capacho, Age of the Oceanic Dragon Lord. Oops, that didn't work this turn. And also, they can't be destroyed by battle either, so... Come down here, my own personal tech in choice, Kunai with Chain. Just defense, once again, one attack, Negator. Your Returners, Graceful Revival, and Call the Haunted. Revival, of course, I'm getting my Dupe Frog back because I want him out on the field. And Call the Haunted is for Duke Frog and everyone else. This is the card that screws with your opponent the most. Non-aggression area. You can only activate this card during your standby phase. Discard one card from your hand of the graveyard. Your opponent cannot normal summon, set, or special summon during their next turn. You know how much that card screws with people. Especially if you got this combo sitting right down there. They can't do anything. You bounced all their monsters back to their hand. They are wide open. They can only activate what's face down on their field, and they can only activate spell cards. They can't even set new trap cards. They can't set, period. They can't normal summon. They can't special summon. They gotta try to negate this thing as fast as they possibly can. And of course, 
this is my original field nuker out of this deck. Needle ceiling. Four or more monsters on the field. All face-up type monsters. All face-up monsters are destroyed, which is normally good for me because look at that. That thing's normally face down. Okay, I got winded. Oh well. It's a very talkative deck. People normally defend their version of frog arcs, and you know what? I like this. It works. It stalls. It may not be competitive because it doesn't have the nice fancy cards in it, like Mox Reborn, or two mystical space typhoons, or the fast treeborn frogs, which I'll admit he's quite handy, but I just like Confit a little bit better because he comes out right away. Well, that's the vid. Hopefully it uploads. I think so. We're up to 15 minutes now. So, bye YouTube.